Father Murray here. Welcome to the launch of Lent here at St. Francis Parish. On this day, February 17th, 2021, in the time of COVID. And so why don't we begin with a prayer? Let us pray. As we solemnly offer the annual sacrifice for the beginning of Lent, we entrust you, O Lord, that through works of penance and charity we may turn away from harmful pleasures and cleansed from our sins, may be worthy to celebrate devoutly the passion of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of practicing your piety before people in order to be seen by them, for then you have no reward from your Father in heaven. So whenever you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogue and in the streets, so that they may be praised by others. Truly, I tell you, they have, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your alms may be done in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogue and at street corners, so that they may be seen by others. Truly I tell you, they have received the reward. But whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door, and pray to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you fast, do not look dismal like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces so as to show others that they are fasting. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face, so that your fasting may be seen not by others, but by your Father, who is in secret. And your Father, who sees in secret, will reward you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters in Jesus, Ash Wednesday in the early church within the season of Lent was understood primarily as a liturgical period of, for reconciliation of public sinners. The penitents would come to the church at the start of Lent wearing penitential garments, often sackcloth, the Old Testament symbol for seeking repentance. They were ritually sprinkled with ashes and dismissed from the assembly to do their penance for 40 days. Then they returned to the church on Holy Thursday. With time, the dismissing of the penitents disappeared, but the ashes remained as a reminder and a call to penance for all the faithful. The imposing ashes symbolizes human mortality and fragility and the need to be redeemed by the passion, death, and resurrection of Jesus. Since we are not able to distribute ashes this Ash Wednesday due to COVID-19, I encourage you to make the sign of the cross on your fellow family members or your fellow students and pray the words, Repent and believe in the gospel. Or remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. That is a time of penance and reconciliation with God and one another. I have a favorite memory of a reconciliation service that I celebrated with my large community in Stratford. 
Patrick was a friend and a core person in the community. He had significant intellectual challenges and ap epilepsy. Patrick could speak maybe two or three words at a time. I remember thinking that Patrick doesn't get too many phone calls and has had limited involvement with our liturgical events. So I called Patrick and I asked him if he would carry the cross for our penitential service that evening. He simply said, Yep. Patrick was among <coughs> the first to arrive at the hall where the celebration took place. I handed him a cross. It was about five feet high, six inches wide, an inch thick. Not only did Patrick carry the cross into our liturgical celebration, he hung on to the cross throughout our entire service. One would not have been able to pry the cross from Patrick's hands. It was clear that Patrick took seriously his call, his invitation to carry the cross, and he saw this ministry as a gift and a grace to our community. As part of the service, we wrote our sins on yellow sticky tabs and placed them on the cross. My memory of Patrick clutching that cross with all his strength, all his might, all his soul, burns within my psyche, my heart, and my soul. It reminds me of the church's call to each and every one of us to come to the cross during this time of Lent, to pick up the cross, to value the cross, to clutch the cross, to cherish the cross, and to name and own and claim what Jesus has done for us through the cross. The words of Joel from our first reading ring out in my heart. Joel says, Even now, says the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting and weeping and with mourning. Rend your heart's and not your clothing. And then Joel goes on to say, Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. And he relents from punishing. That is a time when we seek to become little before the Lord. That is a time when we seek to climb down the ladder from our power, our success, our places of importance and prestige, and to seek to enter into greater solidarity with the poor, the little, the disenfranchised, the ostracized, and the alienated of our community and global family. Holy Mother Church seeks to teach us that we can accomplish these realities through the disciplines of prayer and fasting and the giving of alms. That is our, about our call to metanoia. It is a call to change our hearts so that they may be more in tune with the mind and the heart of our God. Our God is compassionate. We are called to be compassionate. Our God is a reconciler. We are called to be reconcilers. Our God forgives. We are called to forgive. Our God is holy. We are called to be holy. That is a season of returning to the image of God that we were fashioned to reflect. It is a time when we work anew at being reconcilers, peacemakers, forgivers, holy people, prophets, those who speak on behalf of God and Christ. I'm always encouraged by the words of St. Francis when he says, fast from hurting words and say kind words. Fast from sadness and be filled with gratitude. Fast from anger and be filled with patience. Fast from pessimism and be filled with hope. Fast from worries and trust in God. 
fast from complaints and contemplate simplicity. Fast from pressures and be prayerful. Fast from bitterness and fill our hearts with joy. Fast from selfishness and be compassionate to others. Fast from grudges and be reconciled. Fast from words and be silent so that you can listen. May all of us who are part of our St. Francis Parish family enter into this time of Lent, beginning now this Ash Wednesday of 2021, with deep conviction, passion, and enthusiasm. Praise be Jesus risen. Amen.